Um, I, I, actually, I want to start first with uh, J.D. Vance's speech last night. Um, I, the thing that I found most fascinating about this speech, and I don't know if you watched the whole thing and if you were paying attention in the context that I was, but, but I, you know, I was, I'm real familiar with the topics, the issues that he was talking about. He was talking about basically we're going to repudiate neoliberalism. Um, and, you know, he said, we're no longer going to bow down to the bankers on Wall Street. We're going to start paying attention to workers and workers' rights, which is rich coming from a guy who voted against the PRO Act or refused to vote for the PRO Act and voted for some anti-union legislation. He's got a zero rating with the AFL-CIO. Zero. The average Republican is 3%. He's zero. But... There was a larger message, and it was a message that a number of the Silicon Valley billionaires have been promoting. And it's, uh, it's fundamentally this. And in fact, I, I, I'm thinking this would make a great rant for tomorrow's op-ed. Um, the, the message is essentially, I'm going to burn this whole system down and start over. These are people who, by and large, are big followers of Ayn Rand. I mean, they're, start, they're trying to build their own city in Southern California, you know, from scratch. Uh, to, to try out their, their you know, objectivist slash libertarian form of government. Um, the, you know, Peter Thiel, who is the big funder for J.D. Vance, has talked about building cities out on the oceans um, that could be run, you know, along libertarian lines. These guys are, you know, this is, a, this is an adolescent fantasy, right? This is what happens when 14-year-old boys read Atlas Shrugged or the Fountainhead. They're, they're more likely to read the Fountainhead because in there there's a scene where, where the, the good guy rapes this woman and then she decides you know, halfway through being raped that she kind of likes it. Um, so, you know, but I, that, that's Ayn Rand. You know, she appeals to 14-year-old boys. Um, and, and this idea that, well, if we just let greed dominate everything and, you know, we can tear down our society and start it over and all this kind of stuff, um, you know, it really appeals to some of these right-wing billionaires. And, and, and J.D. Vance, he's not a billionaire, but he's multi, multi, multi-millionaire. He was a hedge fund manager, and, you know, he's had a number of jobs, most of which uh, Peter Thiel helped him get or set up. But nonetheless, I, I, I think that that was the essence of the message. I mean, he attacked NAFTA, for example. Now, who wrote NAFTA? NAFTA started with the Reagan administration 